Queen's Gambit Accepted, Classical, Rubenstein Variation, 7, NC68.QE2CXD49.RD1B710.XT40011.NC3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The queen's gambit accepted swiftly eliminates white's c4 piece and forces him to establish an advantage with just one pawn remaining. Nf3 develops the knight, protects the d4 pawn, and controls the e5 square. Nf6 supports the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. E3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to capture the pawn on c4 next move. The e6 square regulates the d5 and f5 squares and permits the growth of the dark squared bishop. Bx c4 captures the c4 pawn, and develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls d5. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. A6 controls the b5 square and prepares the b5 pawn push. A4 takes space on the queen side and prevents the b5 pawn push. And c6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the pawn on d4. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This wins a pawn. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This captures a vulnerable pawn. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is the last book move. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to stomp on a bishop. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. It is quite good. This is a missed chance to relocate a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. Recaptures. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a knight and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is quite good. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary can grab an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to capture a knight. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This enables the adversary to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. 
it is an inaccuracy. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Very precise. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Backs off. It's compelled. This removes the attacking rook. This is the only move that works. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is a great move. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. A pawn is therefore left defenseless. It is incorrect. That pawn was available for free. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It's compelled. This misses a chance to get a knight to safety. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. Very precise. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. It was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.